So recently a few weapons got buffed and today we take a look at another one and that is the Moonfire. This one actually received a buff and a second hidden buff they didn't mention. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Moonfire Pistol, in my opinion, was a great weapon prior to being buffed in the latest April 2nd hotfix patch. Now credit to Z Karma, who I believe was first to figure and cover this. He goes into great detail on the buffs applied to the Moonfire and you can check out his channel where you'll find that video linked in that video description. So he figured the Moonfire got roughly a 35% damage buff over its prior self which was applied with an April 2nd hotfix. Now the Moonfire's party trick is that every third shot is an amped shot. But what's changed here, what wasn't mentioned within the hotfix patch notes, and that is the fact that the amped shot now deals around that 200% damage mark, whereas before I believe it was close to that 120% mark. So quite a jump for sure. Now the Moonfire itself in my opinion was a great weapon prior to this buff. Was a buff actually needed? Well I ain't too sure there, I mean I know many people who love this weapon and how it just feels great to use and the fact it was quite powerful already, it's a snappy weapon, pinpoint accurate and within my original testings way back when this was dropped, I don't remember it feeling weak at all. Well either way guys, it's been buffed now and now it is an incredible pistol. And yes, on paper there are definitely stronger pistols, and there might even be better all-round pistols in the game, but as I'm playing with this now, it's hard to think of a better all-round pistol if I'm honest with you. Now the Moonfire is an exclusive pistol to Walton the Invincible within the Malawan Takedown Raid, which I will state, it's kind of a rare drop. I mean I've farmed this dude countless times over the past few days and only seen a couple of these drop none actually being the ones I wanted. It does come offering all elements too which is absolutely awesome. Now the variants in review for this video were sent to me by a couple of pals, Full Metal Kraken and Rangers Mad, so credit to those guys in supplying me the weapons to make this video possible. So using the Moonfire as of now, it for sure feels like a great great weapon, it makes easy work of basically everything within the slaughter shaft. Within my original testing I can't remember if this was the case, I remember it feeling quite good, I don't remember it feeling weak like I said, but since the Walton raid has dropped, we have had many new additions to the game like the seeing their class mod for Zane which just changes him all around, which in itself basically helps everything with Zane going forward, which is probably why the slaughter shaft feels so easy with this weapon, whereas like I said I can't remember that being the case prior within my initial testings of this Moonfire. Now one thing I will state is running around with this in the slaughter shaft, I mean it's a beast of a weapon when you've got the correct build to back you up. I mean me running my Winter Soldier build right here, I mean as you can see it's more or less just popping off on everybody making easy work of everybody in this slaughter shaft. But when my action skills do run out, although I can think of many many worse pistols in the game, a few come to mind which I'd probably take over this within the instance of me not having an action skill in use. Weapons such as the Maggie and definitely the Hydro Frost even though that acts more like an SMG. It is on paper a pistol and that is just an absolute monster of a weapon for sure. But in terms of all round a beast of a weapon within your action skill, outside of your action skills, if you have the correct moon fire and like I said they do come within many different variants with all elements, it is a hard weapon to match in terms of everyday use. I'm not saying it's the best in the game but it's definitely up there with the best in the game, pistol wise anyway. And although I'm not sure this patch was really necessary, one thing I will say is it did kind of fall under the radar, I wasn't seeing many many I mean I've, like I said I've got a couple of friends who love this thing but for the most part it did kind of fall behind, I didn't see many people using this thing and that could be why. Uh, Gearbox have decided to buff this thing. It seems they are buffing many weapons people are forgetting about or weapons that are just in general underpowered. I don't think this one was underpowered though and it for damn sure is not now. It's a great great weapon. I mean it will assist you in many instances this game does throw at you especially if you are a pistol lover. So yeah guys the Moonfire is now definitely up there in my opinion with the best pistols in the game. Definitely a weapon I feel you can switch up your pistol play with and I feel you will definitely feel some benefits. And I mean you can see in the background now the footage of it in the slaughter shaft, I mean that third amp shot is just ridiculously powerful and it makes easy work of the most difficult enemies within this slaughter shaft. Again credit to Z Karma for the details on the actual buffs of this weapon. It saves me doing all the calculations and if I can help a fellow Borderlands 3 content creator out in any way possible, I will do so. 
So yes, credit to Z Karma who does go into the nitty gritty details of many, many weapons. And if you're into that kind of thing, you should definitely check him out and show him some love. Again, his channel can be found linked within that video description. But guys, on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.